Can you do a Falco? I just did a Falco. All right. <laughs> Perfect. We're going to be playing a Marth Ganon, and this is a matchup where you want to do this. Tech chase the Ganon. Throw him towards the corner. And then it's a lot like playing against Falcon, except his tech options are worse and his actions out of tech are a lot weaker. So notice if he goes, if Ganon starts jumping, I start jumping. But I don't jump before him a lot of the times. And notice I dashed back so I could run forward and give myself momentum to hit him. And so Ganon just jumping down like that puts himself in lag so I can exploit him. Throw him towards the corner. Throw him towards the corner. Oh, try to dash in. So notice that I did weak forward air, and I wanted to do that because at higher percents, tipper forward air will send Ganon off the st or send Ganon higher up, which is not something I wanted. Notice he jumped, so I jumped. I was a little bit slow, so that's why I, he got out. That's okay though. Notice I waited, got another weak one. Came on with a back air to push him off the stage, then did another one. So that's pretty much how that works. Yeah, I could understand that. But hopefully you guys, that makes some sense about how to play against Ganon as Marth. When he jumps, you jump. Um, if he comes down with an aerial, you can pressure him. Runoff fair can be okay at mid percents or higher. And uh, tech chase is gonna keep Ganon, just kind of like Falcon from being able to play, throw him towards the edge. Um, GG's too sick of Falcos, I can understand why, and uh, good luck in your future games. Alright, we are playing against Bike Tyson as Marth. <laughs> yeah, okay man. So as against Ganon, we want to cover double jumping to edge, because that's going to be what Ganon can do really well. All right, I need to not be lazy because I'm doing a video, but I, I don't know if this... Web, is this going to go in? Where's Web? There's no way, dude. No one's watching me play against Ganon, bro. Oh, frick. <laughs> All right, we have Marth Fox starting out on a smaller stage with lower platforms. We know that the fox didn't hit a tech there, so that might give me some useful information for us. Now notice we wanted to get that fox to jump, because we wanted him to lose his uh, main resource for uh, recovering there. And so this person's landed and done up smash twice now. And so we have to make sure that we try to punish them for that this time. And uh, also make sure we don't drop our combos. So it's going to be very difficult to run backwards on this stage and avoid. So again, there's our up smash. Oh, and I just tried to up B, and I just ended up spamming side B. That's okay. There's their up smash. Tippering at this percent is really good. Oh, and great angle. But up throw or forward throw there is a mix up. And so I up throw instead. If Fox held in there, they would have been able to get out of the punish a lot more. I don't think they'll be able to avoid this one. They are not. I have to mash up B to get back in time. So the counter there is just to I'll make sure I don't get punished out. We're missing their tech again. They double jump straight to edge instead of doing a recovery, which is a good mix up. There's our tipper again, which is going to add good damage. Oh, nice. 
But notice that even though they got that, they're still in a tough spot. I delayed my forward air slightly just to make sure I'd be okay. We wave dash back if we miss by the edge. That way we can go the full distance to avoid them. And you can see they kind of quit out after that. They had they were not able to play the game for much of the time there. They were getting grabbed a lot out of their quick approaches. I told you that I wasn't going to be able to dash back much to avoid them. So I tried to beat them out instead. I forward aired them when they were on a platform. Because forward air is going to start above my head, swing down. They're going to start above me. So forward air is going to hit a little bit sooner than if they were on the ground, which is going to be good for me. And um, you notice how much I tippered it. That got me good percent. Got them past percents where they could crouch. And also where I had to do harder tech chases on platforms or on the ground. So don't underrate that damage. Um, but... They had some good recoveries. We talked about how um, when they got out of a punish, they went up for up smash a few times. They also um, they also grabbed uh, they also grabbed the edge with their double jump instead of just going for a quick recovery option. And, but when they were on the edge, they often side bead or they, you know, they got up with like a reverse double laser or something unusual like that. They weren't edge dashing very much, right? And so that made it much easier to control them. Now, the reason edge dashing is good is because it gives you invulnerability and you can do a lot of things out of it, like shine, dash, aerial, full hop, dash back even, right? Wave dash. Like, there's a lot of things you can do. But this person wasn't doing that, so it made it much more straightforward to react to what they were doing on the edge. So that gave me a big advantage too. When, even when I wouldn't get the kill, I could still have a good position. Um, so hopefully that's some interesting information for you guys in terms of the neutral and the punish. Again, um, for neutral, I kind of wanted to not move away so much to counter hit them, but to outrange them with sword because you can't dash back very much on that stage. Marth dash covers a wide portion of the stage. So and instead we try to just um, range them out as much as possible, down tilt and forward air being the key moves. And then we get grabs if they ever try to come in and beat those. Anyway, um, GG's to our opponent. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that Fox game. I've never seen an H-Box pop off. I don't know how to replicate it. All right, let's play Marth Samus, and we're gonna be playing on Dreamland. Now, notice the Samus jump, so I responded by jumping. And that's gonna be what Marth is gonna be strong at, is catching. Catching Samus out of the air. Unfortunately, when Samus does her uh, down B, she turns into a little ball, so that ended up getting me punished. And so, uh, we have to make sure we really are confident with our movements to catch the Samus out here. So notice we kind of, we switch up which side we're going to be on so the Samus doesn't know where to hit us. Samus in the air, we go for forward air. Samus no longer has a grapple. Does have enough of uh, enough height to get back. Oh, and you can see how good that was on the Samus's part. How good that, that was on their part to uh, not do another bomb bounce because I was calling out the timing. You can also see that I was going to hit them regardless there because I went far enough. You always have to go a little farther than you think because Samus is. Uh, large uh, body hitbox becomes very small. So there you see it again. Samus using it very effectively to dodge. I shielded immediately in case Samus held down. Notice the Samus held away this time. I didn't want to risk trying to Ken combo. I'm gonna grab the edge right before Samus can take off and push her off the stage. Now down tilt's gonna be really good against Samus because it's gonna make her stop holding down or it's at least gonna push her away safely at low percent. And it's gonna be one of my good ways to pressure her out. Forward throw doesn't mean Samus has to jump necessarily, but it can be good if she does. Notice I waited there and I didn't go out so the Samus may have thought she was safe. I hit the bomb so Samus didn't go out or didn't get the jump so she had to do another bomb. So Samus is going to take her time, but she's taking a little bit of percent in the corner there. Because Samus didn't grapple perfectly to the edge, they are going to pop up. Although I do think that might be RNG. Anyway, you can see how that kind of worked. I dash dance around if Samus wanted to try and push her way out of the corner where she is very limited. She can no longer wave dash back. Um, I call her out. If she gets on a platform to avoid, I forward her out of the air like I was calling out. 
If she tries to stay grounded, I surprise her with down tilts occasionally so she maybe wants to jump or attack into me sooner. Then I bring my dash dance back in. Or she jumps and then I forward air her. So you can see how these are all connected together. And then with the edge guard, you saw how I whiffed a few times on the bombs, but then I realized that the CMS was just um, going to uh, drift farther away. So I compensated by drifting farther away as well or hitting her directly out of her grapple, which makes her lose it uh, for sure. And then when she has her at B, you just have to make sure you know exactly where she can do that. And it's much easier from there. So start with the grapple, then go from there for the edge guard. I think many people just give up and you don't have to do that against Samus necessarily, especially as Marth. You can even go out and just take a hit by the bomb. Samus will have to do another one, drop even lower. Anyway, um, hopefully this stuff makes sense to you guys. And of course, GG's to my Samus opponent. Good luck in your next games. Oh, frick.